Hi, my name is Aubrey Adams. I'm at the Republican Texas Convention. I'm sitting here with a, another young lady who has a testimony about marijuana, how it's affected her boyfriend. We're not going to give her name um, or give any of that identity out. Um, she, he is harassing her and um, she is scared. So uh, describe how your boyfriend was before he started using marijuana. Well, in the beginning, he was someone that held down a job. He was a, a general manager, um, went to church. He has two kids. You know, I thought that he, he seemed responsible um, from what I could tell when we were together in the beginning. And then, and then you started seeing Sin, him use marijuana? Well, I, didn't, I, I don't smoke marijuana, but I started suspecting he was because I could smell it. Then I started finding zigzag papers around the house and little remnants of um, joints laying around everywhere. And then eventually later I actually found uh, some bags of marijuana. Okay. And then describe the changes you saw in your boyfriend after he started using marijuana. What was his behaviors? Well, he became paranoid. Um, he would go out in the neighborhood pacing back and forth, uh, wondering what I was doing. Um, we lived on the same street, um, hiding behind cars and trees, uh, just very irrational, emotional. Um, you know, there'd be times that when I try to break up with him, he would hold me down for two hours at a time, refusing to let me go. I've seen him um, just very obsessed, a very obsession behaviors, you know, making up lies and manipulating and just didn't seem like he was in reality of what was happening. And so currently you have broken up with him, but mm -hmm. he is not accepting that. Not at all. And he's harassing you. Yes. And you don't need to go into any details to mm -hmm. expose his identity or yours, mm -hmm. but if you want to generally describe what how he's harassing you. Um, well, there's, there's times like he, um, I've blocked him, but he calls from different phones 20, 30 times a day, um, refusing that we're broken up, saying I'm his, um, he sends his kids to put notes on my door because the last time he was on my property, the cops were called, calling him, saying that he's my husband with little cut-out hearts. And this man is 39 years old. Um, he has made numerous attempts since he's blocked through emails, making stories up of being in the hospital, um, to cutting himself, then he said, you know, made up a story. Then his pit, his uh, pet died. He tried to send me pictures of him burying his pet, so I'd feel guilty to call him. And just continues to put gifts on my door and order pizzas to my house and send food and put banners in my yard. Are you scared of him? Yes, I am. Um, but, uh, God we, will protect me. We we wish your safety for that we'll yeah. pray pray for you that mm -hmm. you are safe and, and you. when you tell people um your story that marijuana did this to your boyfriend mm -hmm. what is their reaction do they believe you no most people you know everyone says um oh marijuana just makes you relax and you're just going to eat and be sleepy but i know for you know a fact just going through his house and finding all his spots the only thing ever was marijuana there and he's been drug tested for hard drugs um, through the court system when he was battling for his kids and the only thing there was ever a record of has been marijuana um, and it, it it made him paranoia just bipolar, just not, uh, just he can't handle his emotions. His emotions are really immature for someone who's 39 years old. And when you walked up to our booth and you saw like the risks of, of what can happen if you mm -hmm. start using marijuana, and I showed you low potency marijuana, increased chronic psychosis by fivefold, mm -hmm. bipolar disorder, increased risk by 2.7 mm -hmm. fold, almost three, increased suicide, irrational uh, mm -hmm. paranoia, and and you you were like, yes, that's what my boyfriend mm -hmm. does, and yes. then this is low potency marijuana. Mm -hmm. What we have available now is really high potency, so. But I, you obviously don't um, support any legalization of marijuana. No, I don't. Okay. I do not. Right. I really appreciate you giving You're us welcome. your testimony. Thank you. And we pray for your safety. Thank you. Thank you.